Hello and welcome to the Bon Tannenbusch School Centre here for the German Foil Championships of 2024. We started the day with 72 competitors in each of men's and women's competitions and we are now down to just two competitors in each of those competitions, starting with the women's foil final. We've got Sarah Holland Kuntz from TSG Weinheim, 19-year-old. It's the German number five. She's on the left-hand side going up against the FC Tauber 22-year-old Alia Dieck Hein, German number four. So German number four against German number five for the 2024 national foil title. Athletes out and ready. Both came through their semi finals 15-6. Uh, uh, Holland Kuntz over Posgar from PSV Stuttgart. And Dweek Hein beat uh, Kirsch and Kirsch from FC Tarba. Refereeing this match is Anne Sophie Kukla with uh, Tim Badenhagen on a video, both from Germany. And we're underway the final of the German Foil Championships of 2024. The women's competition sees Sarah Holland Kuntz on the right up against Alia Dweek Hein on the left. So both progressed fairly comfortably through their semi finals, both winning 15 6 after both being up 6 0. So a bit of symmetry through the uh, semi finals. I'm sure you can see that uh, Holland Kuntz on the right, uh, very efficient, she's got a nice, neat, classic on guard position, high point, moves forward, she's tidy, she's very accurate, and uh, very good on her feet, but uh, falls behind by two. Oh yeah, Dweek Hine is active, she's a presser, she likes to push her opponent, very solid on guard position, active in defence, and uh, we've seen today that she's very good at picking up stop hits as well, but at the moment she's shown both in attack and on the retreat she can pick the right moment to finish her attack, and a 3-0 healthy lead for her at the start of this final. Now this is Holland Kunst's trick. She is very careful on her approach, but she keeps pushing forward. So there has been a call for a video review here. Uh, the referee have, has given this to the right to uh, Sarah Holland Kunst. An appeal from Alia. And it was a good call, para repost. For the natural number four athlete.
Kunta style Kunta's uh, Holland Kunta's uh, approach was to press but cautiously and at the moment Dwight Kine has got the measure of her and if anything Holland Kunta has become a little bit too cautious she's not really committing good start for the FC Tower fencer. <laughs> well, Holland Kunz found the parry but missed the repost and the continuation leads to yet another hit for Drew Klein. Target scored 15, which is already a third of the way there without being hit herself. Finally, Holm Kunz gets off the mark. It's taken most of this first period for her to score a first hit. But a timely moment to land that first hit. First break, and Dwight Hine leads this final by five points to one. The athletes have a, a minute now to talk to their coaches. So three, three minutes periods of fencing if needed to get to the target score of 15. Interesting time for uh, foil in general in uh, Germany at the moment. On the women's side of things, Olympic qualification completed last weekend at the uh, Washington Grand Prix. And, uh, well, the German national team were in fine form and sour. Uh, Leon Yeber leading the way for the German national team and they had actually wrestled uh, the qualification position for Europe from Poland earlier in the season but an unfortunate injury to uh, Leon Eber uh, that she was no longer able to compete in the team and Poland snatched that opportunity to steal the position. Good news for Germany in this bittersweet moment for women's foil is that and Sauer has qualified for Paris 2024 through the individual route. Sauer was due to compete here but uh, decided not to after her efforts through qualification. I'm sure we'll all forgive her deciding not to compete in this event. Buchheim on the left, in control at the start of the second period. Clash of guards there. Turned into a little bit of a scrappy one at the moment. Not unusual. 
Well, you've got uh, two lefties. the halfway point of this match for the gold medal here you have to say that Hong Kong needs to start to make some kind of impact here but down by five again on uh, famous for in the centre of the world in Germany, hosting this event. They also host the, uh, the World Cup in men's foil. International tournament. First yellow card coming out for Dwee Kai. I don't think she'll be too bothered about that at this stage. She's in control of the fight, and she's still keeping very active. Again, that's a lack of... I, I, I don't really want to say lack of commitment. It's a, the confidence has gone down from... Uh, Sarah Holman Kuntz. Just not quite sure how to manage this uh, aggressive approach from Dukine. And certainly a bit of a lull in the uh, performance from Foyle in Germany. They're very unlucky this year due to the injury of. Uh, the only year, but not to qualify a women's foil team for the next Olympic Games. But uh, far from the glory days of the uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s in uh, German women's foil. So much so that uh, they've brought in coaches from outside, and uh, that's fairly unusual for Germany. Andrea Magro coaching. Uh, Colin Kuntz on the right, and indeed club coach for uh, Anne Sauer, who's qualified for Paris 2024. It's uh, Peter Eifler in the coaching box for Alia Huikain. Another attack from the right. Now, looks like uh, Luka Sara Holland Kuntz has decided that she's got to do something about this. I wonder if she's left it too late. She could do with another hit before his final seconds of the second period run out. They back away. Dwight Hine still in control. 8-2 as the athletes go for their second one-minute break. Andrea Magro with the fluid and the wise words, much needed by Holland Kuntz. There is Peter Eifler. Oh, I say that Peter Eifler sitting in the chair, teammate talking to her. So we prepare for the final period of three minutes here in this 
German Foil Championships Women's Final of 2024. Dirk Hein leading Holland Kunz by eight points to two. So Holland Kunz has to start doing something now. Got to take a bit of a risk here. Three Klein is uh, defending her lead by going on the attack. Well, at least pressing her opponent. There's an element of containment in the uh, tactics. On the 22 year old. gone of this final three minutes and Holland Kuntz has not done anything to close the gap up and again it's that lack of conviction I don't want to say commitment I'm sure she's committed to the cause but uh, she's just not finishing anything she's getting into distance but just too nervous to finish things off. She's only 19 years old. Holland Kuntz. And again, you can see in the attack from Holland Kuntz that there's an element of nervousness, so it's not quite finishing it. A little tightness in the shoulder. So she's not quite getting her arm fully out. And then immediately pulling back to defend as well. So, tricky, tricky time for her. So, just a handful of seconds over a minute left to go. Kukine has done the job here. She's built up an early lead in the first period and then used an aggressive but patient and no risk attacking approach to uh, contain the lead minute and six seconds and uh, some change and uh, Dukein, the German number four is on the verge of picking up this title here Better. Nice little septine beat attack from Holland Kuntz. Just off target, so no point. Well, just not enough from Holland Kuntz at the moment. Um, we are well inside a minute to go. Almost looks like she's settled for the silver medal here. Contain the score. Don't go down by much more than six points. Gets a little counter there. Not going the judgment, I think. If he kind of stays away, then uh, this one is done and dusted. Good tactics from the FC Tower defensor. Built the lead, kept the press on, but not taking any risks. 
And she is on her way on the counter attack, gets another hit. Flash attack with uh, less than seven seconds to go. That's why we need to see that a bit earlier from Holland Kuntz. And that will do it. Uh, Alaya Dweek Hein. Well, she won the mental battle. She won the strategic battle and executed it perfectly physically. Yes, it's a low scoring final, but Alaya Dweek Hein from FC Tauber is the German foil champion of 2024. Time now for the men's foil final here at the German Foil Championships of 2024. Paul Fowl from FC Tauber against Alexander Karl from TG Hanau, and they are underway. Referee called into action straight away here, Alexander Gashing. Paul Falk needing to replace his weapon, which went faulty on the first hit. We've got an interesting one here because both of these fences are aggressive. They both go out at, it, at their opponents. Or foul, solid feet, lots of foot movement and blade movement. Aggressive but controlled. Uh, the FC Tauber German number seven, 21 years old. Much more experienced uh, Alexander Karl from TG Hanau. Actually ranked uh, 45 in the world, in the world's top 50. And is the German number one, 30 years old. As you can see, very tidy, balanced feet. A bit of a lean forward in his on guard position. And uh, he's what his approach is what we call a patient press. But he's always in your face. He's always at you. He's always on you. He has quite a nice controlled attack, but uh, Fowl was ready for that one. got to watch the pair of them, even in defence. They're going to be looking for moments to steal the right of way, to steal the attack. Spells the end of a weapon, uh, or the end of a foil at least. Carl's uh, going to give it a go again, but I fancy if that takes another big hit, I'll see that S bend reappear. See, they're both on it. They both want it because as soon as the referee says "Allez," well, actually, uh, "Los," as it is in German, they both take a step forward. They're immediately onto each other. No! Ducking counter fails from Carl, and 
fault now level. Knew this was going to be a good one. In terms of the, the momentum shift, you have to say it's with Carl again. Got out to an early lead, went for a bit of containment that was perhaps a bit of a bad decision. Carl levels up. Carl now back on the attack fails this time first parry the first attack is blocked from foul so it's his right of way it's off target oh that's a lovely hit that's a, it's almost like a sabre hit that one so foul has the right of way but Carl is in complete control as he stepped backwards used distance and then a block to uh, land that power of post, but an immediate response from Farl. It's a cracker, this one. Another duck encounter, but he blocks at the same time, Carl, and gets the power of post. wonder if Farl will be thinking about the video here. Perhaps not. Again, Carl finds the blade. Big circular cease followed by Carl. In fact, I think it was two circular cease parries followed by a Carl, and then misses the riposte. I think he had the right way then. He definitely did that time. So close. Starting to work that one for Farl. He's getting quite close, quite into distance, but he's, he's kind of got his blade and an angle across his body. So he's ready to parry either side. And then if uh, Carl does nothing, goes for a quick attack. And because he's so close, it's a simple action. Just nicked the right of way. I wonder if the referee would have been so decisive on this call then had foul hit. Simple cart repost there. Carl made that look easy. Again, this time makes the step forwards, but you can see slows that step down to lure the attack and then power repost on the trap. Another trick from Sabre. Two beats of the blade, second one from Carl. And uh, Farl coming up to the referee just to have his weapon checked. I think uh, hope more than anything else there that it wasn't going to work and the hit would be annulled. Attack left for me. Attack left for the referee, Gashin. And just one point in it. Just under 25 seconds to go in the first period. Very electric first period it's been as well. The kind of dice and trading hits a little bit in the latter part of this first period, but you still have to say that Carl, yes, the score is in his favour, but the momentum still feels like it's with him as well. And they're going to let the last 10 seconds uh, drift away. No surprise, really. They've both been at it through these three minutes at the end of a long day of fencing. 
and uh, they will go the minutes break. Carl leading by 10 points to nine. Well, it's an incredibly tight one. Certainly the score would tell you so, but at the moment, uh, the momentum has shifted a little bit. Carl started off well, then Fowler battled his way back in. They were level on score. Even when Fowler got back level on score, it just felt that Carl just went through the gear a bit re-established dominance uh, in terms of the momentum at least uh, but it's an incredibly tight fight too tough to call at the moment but I'm leaning towards Alexander Carl the 30 year old German number one leading by a single point as the first rest period comes to an end Second period of this German Foil Championships men's competition underway and uh, straight out of the block, Alexander Karl gets uh, given a beat attack. And, uh, looks like uh, Paul Files called for another video review. He feels he got a pair of post in there. And he sounded like one meeting of the blades. The referee will give the priority to the attacking fencer. So hit stands and then straight away Carl out of the blocks. I think he senses that he's got to pull away. He really doesn't finish this one really quickly just to break his opponent. Target. We found the blade again. There's multiple beat here. That's not an unusual thing with German fences. That foul. Going to surrender yet another weapon. It's interesting that uh, Fowl go for a replacement. I think, you know, it's as much as a, as a reset as anything else. So, you know, playing within the rules. But interesting that Carl, who had an S bend in that weapon, which you can still actually faintly see, um, he's stuck with it. Because four fences, well, fences in general, will have a favorite weapon. Now Fowl getting a little impatient, the 21-year-old showing a lack of experience against the 30-year-old going racing in without a full plan. One away. Attack goes through off target though for Paul Foul. Carl, one away from the title though here in Bond. Duck encounter is enough to finish things off. A warm hug from his opponent, but uh, Alexander Karl from TG Hanau, German number one, is the German foil champion of 2024. Time now for the medal presentation for the German women's foil championships of 2024. Bronze medals going to the German number nine, and Kirsch from FC Tauber, and Sophia Posgai from PSV Stuttgart.
Good day for the pair of them. Sophia, this guy on the right, the 25 year old, collecting bronze, along with Anke on FC Tauber, the 24 year old, on the podium in 2024. Silver medal with Sarah Holland Kunz, the 19 year old. German number five from uh, TSG Weinheim. And uh, guidance of uh, Magro, who's had an interesting couple of weeks with uh, this charge and Sarah qualifying for Paris. And now a silver medal at the German Women's Foil Championships of 2024. Came a little undone in the final, has to be said, but a silver medal for her. <laughs> for the champion of the Women's Foil Championships here in Germany in 2024 is the 22-year-old FC Tauber fencer, Alaya Dweek Hein, a German number four claims the gold medal at the national championships. So there we have it. Hello, Dweek Klein from FC Tauber with the gold from Sarah Holland Kunch from TSG Weinheim in the silver medal position. The bronze medal is going to Sophia Posgai from PSV Stuttgart and Anne Kirsch from FC Tauber. The last of the action here on the individual day. German Foil Championships. It's a presentation of the men's competition medals. So the bronze medals going to German number 16, Jan Frisch from FTV München. 22 year old sharing the position with the 18 year old, also from Munich, from KTF Lutpold. Munchen Union Dettering. German number 27 battling his way to the podium here in 2024. The silver medal this year goes to another FC Tower fencer, the 21 year old Paul Fowl. German number seven is sure to climb the national rankings with the silver medal.
But the German men's foil champion of 2024 is Alexander Hall from TG Hanau. The 30-year-old German number one came into this competition with full expectation of the win. Sometimes that's incredibly difficult. It was a tough final, but he turned it around in the second period battled his way to the gold medal. Congratulations to him and to the rest of the medalists in the men's foil competition. There we have it, Alexander Karl with the gold medal from Paul Fowl. TG Hanau claiming the top spot on the podium from FC Tauber. And two Munich fences, MTVs, Jan Frisch and KTF Leupold Munchens, Julian Dettering with the bronze medal. That is it from the individual day here at the German Foil Championships of 2024. A presentation brought to you live from Fencing Vision. We hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon.